of the final day of the final month of the year. 57 more minutes and we're, and we're in 2024. Let's get to the end of this, the very last minute of the year. All right. All right, we are at the final two minutes of 2023. Um, um, so in this video, I will get this. This year is awesome. I honestly love it. Oh, one minute. All right. Goodbye, 2023. But then... Hello, 2024. Anyway, we are officially in 2024 now. Happy New Year, everyone. Um, now I'm here. Oh, sorry, Root Achiever. He, he pumps running. That's a Gentech fan motor. That's motor one, that's a Gentech. This is by US Motors. This is a Root Achiever, it's a big one. Oh, that's powerful, I forgot how powerful that is. The Gentech fan motor. Read the data on that motor. Also, can on the other one. So. This one's defrosting. I have an umbrella on me, so yeah. It's a really cold day right now. Look at that. Look at the blades, they have ice on them. Look at that. There it goes. Melt the ice away. Oh. Got a pretty good seam show. Alrighty. Melt the ice. Use the other hand. It's a pretty epic steam show. Wow, this is a pretty epic steam show here. Good God. Whoa. Oh my god. That was crazy. Alright, so here we have a 2042 Root Achiever heat pump running, frozen over, running in heat mode. Barely any airflow. Good god. Alright. 
Good God, look at the blades. Okay, so this one just kicked in defrost. I gotta use this heat pump to warm up my hands. It's one of the best team shows you guys have ever seen. Awesome. So, um, we have, uh, we actually have a, uh, big snow. She got a lot of snow today. Um, it's been pretty, pretty snowy. Um, it snowed all on January 16th. It's been two years. Well, here's my Bryant cover. Oh, jeez. My Bryant covered in snow. that thing covered in snow but here's my Bryant covered in snow We are officially back out here in the snow. It's almost exactly like March 12th, except a little less. We just got we just got showered with snow. Um, and here's the carrier, um, 2020 carrier running in heat mode. All three of these are running. And scroll. There's a reversing valve. Cloud um, Ocean fan motor. 2020, five ton. Alrighty, guys. We are out in the snow again. Um, it is very nice and snowy out right now. It looks amazing. We got, actually got a ton more snow than we did on Wednesday the 17th. Um, so. That's very nice. Um, my, my, yeah, like I think it's now seven um, inches deep now. About seven. Uh, it's probably six, six feet, six inches deep. Very wintry wonderland. Here's my Bryant in the snow. New, new tripod sticks. So. There's the York covered in snow. Whoa, it's really coming down here. Thank God it didn't slip like I did two years ago. <laughs> Here's the train. Sometimes I think they're blocks and like I can't step on it, but I actually can. Good God, that's like. That must be actually like eight inches of snow. A little opening for uh, me to stick my camera through for the train. There it is. Alright, 
So here we have a very... Sorry about that camera cut. I caught it switching in. Um, yeah, I cut it two seconds off in the video. I'm very sorry about that. Well, that thing just shut off. Our heat pump running in heat mode right now. This thing's brand new. Good God. Look at those icicles. This thing looks brand new. This place is a 2012 five ton ream. Not sure what motor it has. It has a broad ocean fan motor. That was a 23 five ton. So reversing well, this thing's about to defrost. Very warm. Thank you for watching and over and out. Yeah. the newer version of my first ever defrost it's a replacement this is in memory of that there's already steam I think it's starting to steam. This thing's steaming like mad. Look at that. Not expect that. Oh my god. What the hell? I think we already have a defrost. Very nice. Dang it, I just missed the full one. At least I caught one in 2022. Unfortunately, that one's running again, so you're not going to be able to hear it. Unless it shuts off. Anyways, again, if only that one weren't running. Yo, I thought I saw steam from this. Two heat pumps defrosting at the same time. This is a steam show. I...
Um, I'm gonna come back over there to that 2020 to catch it switching out. Very nice, dual defrost. Uh, this one just turned off. Yeah, I guess the 2020 is done right now. The 2020 is just shut off and defrost, so. Let's get a steam show of this unit. And there it goes. Well, that was a dual defrost cycle. Um, or that was a um, finishing the defrost cycle of this 2011 um, three ton carrier with a uh, the steam show. So yeah, here it is. This thing just defrosted. I'm not even gonna film it. Ah, I'll find. Just defrosted. Just about to leave. And this thing goes into defrost. All right. And we have a second defrost. We have one and two. Which one is it? It's this middle one right here. That one just turned off. This one's defrosting. Very nice. Two defrost in one go. Wow. I have absolutely no idea where my stepdad went. All right, well, that one's defrosting. And this one's defrosting right here. I swear, every defrost with this thing is a dual defrost cycle. Steam show again. Oh, there he is. Okay. All right, here's this one. Frosting. Steam. No steam. I think this might just be a dry to frost cycle. Alright. This one might be. 
might be a dry one. Yeah, I think this one is dry. Oh, and wait, no, there's a stripping. I probably used the steam shell, which probably wasn't much of the 2011 three ton, but yeah, I got two three tons to frosting. So yeah, you can see the steam shell. Alright. Here we have this very frozen and rattly shaking carrier. Heat pump uh, running in heat mode. Very frozen and rattly. Look at this. Four bands of frost. Thick bands of frost. And look how shaky this is. Not good. I'm almost worried you can hear it. Um, near the fan. So, uh, cold and scroll. Alright. Here we have a ICP, I'm not sure what type this is. Right here, not running. Copeland scroll. Oh, this thing is actually a heat pump. Oh, this is a Maritherm. 2012, three and a half ton. Heat pump running in heat mode. Heat mode in the springtime, what? Alliance scroll. The Gentech motor. 2021, four ton. So here I have a um, Heil um, air conditioner heat pump right here. Copeland scroll. So here I have a few, um, we have, uh, there's a fourth one down here, but here we have three barred wall mount heat, um, air, sorry. Here we have three barred wall mount air conditioner heat pumps. All right, happy seventh birthday, fan buddies. Um, this video over here is for heat pumps that I haven't, that have not been seen before. Um, this is my for my seventh channel, channel seventh birthday right here. Here's a barred wall mount air conditioners right here. Actually, I'm not sure if these are heat pumps or not. Let's check up. See a reversing valve day out today, but um, here we have two um, air conditioner heat pumps right here. We have a rooted cheaper tens here. Right here, compressors in this little box over here, like like usual. All right, so here we have a here we have five units right here. Here we have a Goodman, two York Stellars. Uh, one's really hacked. Um, yeah, this is cellar. Yeah, two Goodmans, and then a little carrier.
Well, I caught that one over there starting up, I guess. All right. Um, here, it is a surprisingly, it is a very nice day today. And I'm very surprised to find that this thing is running. Right, here are um, seven American Standard Platinum Series air conditioners or heat pumps. The logos on these are massive. Alliance scroll. I think that's a... All right, so I'm on top of a, a uh, parking lot right now. I'm zoomed in right now so I can... Uh, so I could show you all the uh, the units on the rooftop and kind of down there too. There's an American Standard gas pack over there. Goodman. It just turned on. Uh, two ream or roods and another Goodman behind that other ream. Here we have a Train XR that just, unfortunately, it turned off. Um, Alliance Scroll. This is a... All right, so here we have seven Train XBs right here. I found these on Google Maps when I was like doing Street View over there. So here are these seven. All right, so here we have six train executives, or we have seven trains. We have six executives, one XR, and that one just turned off. And uh, and we have a ream and an air temp over there. So here are these. All right, so here we have three units right here. Here's a Root Achiever, an American Standard Silver, and a Mitsubishi. Here's this Root Achiever. Copeland Emerson Scroll. That is a Protec motor. I'll ream to have that, I think. All right, so here we have an air temp, air conditioner, heat pump. Copeland scroll. This is a heat pump. Broad ocean fan motor. There's a filter dryer inside of there. This is from... All right, so here you have this kind of hard to get to Goodman, and uh, it's also kind of surrounded by a couple of bees, too. So, here's this Goodman structural. All That's going to be kind of a start as a start of shutdown. All right, so here we have a uh, Coleman F Con air conditioner running with the hack job. Century motor. All right, so here we have three trains right here two XBs, one XR. Here are these two XBs. Gentech motor. Orange Alliance scroll. Unfortunately, just turned off. So, yeah. Two, three. Let's see. Yeah. 
Thanks for watching. No So um, here we have these two uh, 1990s barred wall mount heat pump, or sorry, air conditioners. One is running, this one's not. Um, later I'm gonna film these two running both together in July. All right, so here we have this American Standard Heritage 15 heat pump that I caught defrosting last winter. Um, it's now, I got now have it running in cool mode right here. So yeah, here it is running. All right, so um, here is um, neighborhood central air conditioners, top view. There are the ducks right there, by the way. Um, uh, there's a black one and a white one. There's my Bryant right there. This is above view. I haven't ever really showed you above view before, but this is like the first time I have. Um, Alright, so here we have a carrier, which, believe it or not, I actually filmed uh, over two years ago, back in February of 2020. Oh, and it just turned off. Right here. This thing I actually filmed uh, two years ago. Alright, so here we have two uh, York S Stellars right here. Stellar series. Um, air conditioners or heat pumps right here. All right, so here we have a uh, a halfway eaten Tran XR right here. It's getting swallowed by this giant bush. I don't know how it's how it can even get to the front logo anymore. I used to be able to. All right, so here we have a disconnected uh, carrier. It look I, I don't it doesn't have a logo, but I know what a uh, carrier look like looks like. So yeah. Gentech fan water. Ooh, this thing wobbles quite a bit. This thing is on a pallet right now. Um, is it uh Copa and Emerson scroll? 2017, five ton. Alright, so here we have um, a, an ICP, whatever this is. Not sure what it is, so I'll just call it an ICP. And a Root Achiever, an old version. Octagon style. Here's this ICP. Alright, so here we have three American Standard Silver Series um, air conditioners running. Two are from... Or, one is from 2019, or this one is from 2018, and this one is from 2016. Alright, so here I have two carriers that I've actually filmed, believe it or not, I've filmed before. Um, these are ser carrier CKCs.
here just went the 2015 uh, train right there. All right, so here we have two Goodman pumps, I guess, running. Cold on scroll. Broad ocean fan motor. All right, so here we have three units right here, two um, American, we have an American Standard Gold Series, American Standard Allegiance 13, and uh, whatever this unit is, I think that's a, a carrier. There's American Standard Allegiance. I can't tell. Alright, so here I have my, uh, my dad's 2018 Carrier Performance Series air conditioner running right now. It has a slow run cap. I put this paper in here. Alright, so, um, today, um, well, it's in the morning. Um, this is right before a camping trip that we're going on, so I'm not going to be here for the rest of the day. But here's um, the train in Bryant. Sadly, not the York this time, since it's not working. Um, here are the, them running on a hot day. Right here, here's the train. Here's my Bryant running. On a hot morning. So buddy, this one's for you. You can see that they're changing the lines. It looks like, and this guy's got HVAC on the back of his shirt, but unfortunately, you can, wait, did you see that they had a unit in there? Oh no. But yeah, I saw their, um, the York unit outside. I took a picture earlier. I didn't really want to be a weirdo about it, but. Their old York is just sitting out there and um, looks like you were right. They're replacing that. Um, so thought that was interesting. Let's see if I mm -hmm. I don't know if I can cut any of that. Sorry. I don't know what kind that is. We should test him to see if he can tell what it is just from looking at it from the top. That thing looks nice. I think it sounds nice. Now we know what a brand new, well-functioning unit looks like. Or sounds like, I mean. Oh well, guys, um, some pretty big news here. The York got replaced. 
Yep, it finally happened. It finally happened. Um, before I tell you what the new unit is, I just uh, want to say um, before I I know I wasn't here yesterday, so unfortunately I didn't get to film the install and like first startup of it and everything. But um, and also I'm not exactly sure if this thing's a um, if this thing's a um, 2024 or not it looks pretty big it looks like a three and a half ton unit i'm not trying to show the unit yet i'll, I'll black any part of it that shows it out yet but yeah this thing is <coughs> i i did get a picture of the old york um before they hauled it or my stepdad got a picture of it before they hauled it away so i'll show that at the end they did get a few videos of installing, but it was from the bedroom window, so it wasn't that great quality, so. I just show the old York just about to be hauled away, and then also the new unit here. So, yeah. Here's the new unit. It's a brand new Carrier Comfort Series air conditioner. Well, brand new. I'm pretty. I, I'm pretty sure that. I'm pretty sure that's a Copeland scroll. And this thing is from. Yep, 2024. First, my first 2024 unit. It literally has like. If I zoom in here, you may not be able to see it that well, but it says like 20224, so the 20th week of. 2024 so this is like it says the exact year on the serial number it's kind of funny and this thing is a three ton so it's actually a little bit bigger um i think um this thing this thing might have sweat blades i'm not sure but yeah that line's all cold and sweaty i think this thing has a broad ocean fan motor um but yeah here it is. The neighbors are out right now, so I can't really get that good of a view of it. But yeah, there's the new unit. So yeah, thank you for watching. Over and out. All right, so here we have a Ream Ultra or Rude Ultra Series heat pump right here. right here all right so here we have this uh this american standard silver series or no sorry this gold series um air uh air conditioner right here running on a very hot day 89 degrees alliance scroll compressor
Alrighty right, guys, um, well, we finally reached the, uh, the end of the half year. This is, uh, only, like, kind of four days late, but, um, because last week I ran out of time, but, um, it ended up working out with July 4th. Happy 4th, everyone. Um, I had this little fireworks show at the end just now that you guys saw, like, a minute ago. <laughs> uh, so... Um, that was actually the grand finale of it. So, yeah. Happy fourth and a happy new half, I guess. <laughs> that's the summer version of... That's basically, I'm saying Christmas in July. I'm just kidding. Um, anyways. Yeah, it's a new half. There were some fireworks going on outside. So, yeah. Um... I'm not going to record those since the, that's our uh, front yard and that's kind of private. Um, I had to private the one from 2022. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. We got this fourth special. This is my fourth special for you in the half year. This is a little bit long and there's some probably some lengthy parts. But, um, yeah, I, I kind of rushed it. I'm sorry. Um, I'll try to get as much transitions in as possible. Um... But, um, I might, I might label it, I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah. Anyways, guys. It's been a good half so far. Good 2024 so far. Happy 248th birthday of the U.S. And, uh, I'll see you guys, uh, see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching, and over and out.